It's MK and I am here with another Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches sketch and today's sketch is by Kirsten Hughes and I'm also combining this with Color Craze. So this is our Color Craze palette that we have for today. I am going to be using a cruise layout. Uh, I'm going to be doing a cruise layout using my three photos of me um, getting a kiss from a dolphin. Well, the after effects anyways. Uh, and then I've got some Dusty Attic uh, 49 and Market chipboard pieces, which I thought it was cool because it's my two favorite companies um, combined together. I was just so excited to see this and have this in my collection. I also have some Minte um, chipboard stickers that, <laughs> from Suntastic Collection. Uh, I have to say, I set these off to the side and completely forget about them. So that's the last time you'll see those. I'm sorry. <laughs> also from Suntastic, I have this cut apart sheet, which has a really cool modeled background, um, almost like a marble. Uh, or a sandy stone background. And then look at this paper. Isn't that the coolest paper ever? Also from Minte's Suntastic. And then it's got this gorgeous floral print on the other side. I am going to be bringing in some black cardstock for my photo matting. Um, that way it's not too stark black, but I like the black added to this. And then look at this perfect piece of paper. Oh, can you say that 10 times fast? It's from Stampin' Up! Yep, I used this a couple days ago, and now I'm going to use the other side. And then on my little starfish tray, I have this gorgeous um, film strip from 49 and Market. I believe that was from the Beached Collection, Vintage Artistry Beached. And then inside my little pocket here, I have loads of things, you guys. And I'm not going to share everything with you because there is a lot of things. Now, I've got a pre-stitched cloud that I did sometime last year for something. I don't remember. I have a tag that was made uh, for me by JoJo that was gifted to me at a treat. And then I've got some uh, shells that I pre-cut out and inked and splattered and did all the good things. And then all the rest of these are either fussy cut out of 49 and Market, Minte Collections, um, the Stamperia uh, Collection, like the Arctic Collection, because um, I really liked the blue in that. Just lots and lots of other little pieces and bits and things. Now I won't be using all of them, but I have to say that I will be using... Um, some of the stuff. All right, so I'm going to cut my photos down a quarter of an inch on two sides. That way I can use a four by six photo and then distress it a little bit by giving it a little bit of um, lift and whatnot. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut my black in half. So that way I can get three four by six photos. Now, have you guys ever heard of those uh, dream kits, I think is what it's called. Dream. Oh golly. Now I don't remember, but it was this cool little machine that actually cut uh, four by four photo or four by four um, squares, four by six and three by fours. I mean, it was, it was a great way to make a whole bunch of photo mats and whatnot, or use up those cut aparts, right. And quickly cut them up. Anyways, dream cuts, I think is what it was called. I, I just, it made me think of this because every time that I cut uh, photo mats at four by six or something like that. I always think, I wish there was a machine that, that would do this faster. And there is, or there was at one point in time. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff up all of my edges and just instantly create dimension just like that. You guys is so super quick, super simple. Um, and depending on how much you do it, it it's not very messy either. So I, I really do love love doing this. And it also breaks up that black from being so stark uh, right off the bat. Okay, the next thing that I am going to do, I think, uh, I struggled. I'm not going to lie. I really struggled with this specific layout because I had three photos. I'm only doing the left-hand side of Kirsten's um, sketch. And I had three photos instead of four, or I'm sorry, <laughs> instead of two. And I wanted them stacked in series. So that way you could see he just gave me the kiss. Well, you can't tell because his mouth is, looks like he's getting ready to eat me. And then he starts splashing me <laughs> um, and, and whatnot. And so uh, I definitely wanted to, um, I definitely wanted to get um, that in the story, you know, like in the series um, of photos and whatnot. And so 
uh, I, I wanted to keep them all on the same page instead of doing a two-page layout. Um, and then, of course, my other photos weren't going to work with the other side of the sketch at all because I had way too many photos, more than the four. Um, so I only decided to do the one side. Plus, I didn't have enough papers to make this um, color scheme go across a two-page layout, if I'm being honest. Um, I, I do have to say I, I could have made it stretch, but I wasn't sure exactly how. All right, so my first thought was of putting my photos on this gorgeous splash cardstock. Um, and I mean, look at how they perfectly land. It looks like when the dolphin splashes, it's going behind me as well. I mean, it is absolutely perfect for these photos. I don't end up doing that. I'm just saying it doesn't work that way. All right, so before I decide on what embellishments I'm going to use, I am going to spell out the word dolphin using these pebble tile stickers because I have the word journey on top of an arrow, which is actually pointing in the wrong direction, but that's okay. I, I ignore that. <laughs> but I thought a cute little title of dolphin journey would be perfect. Then I'm going to uh, very lightly tack my photos onto this paper so I can figure out what I'm going to do next. Now, I knew I was going to take this paper um, and cut it up down the planks because I was going to omit that light blue color because I have a ton of that light blue color in my background. So I really only wanted to bring in the blues and the grays and the pinks. Um, from this pattern paper. Then I'm going to fill in my film strip using the rest of my cut apart sheet and that sandy tone in the background. That way I have a nice good solid border to play with. Um, I was thinking about doing little embellishments inside each of the film strip frames, but then I decided that that really doesn't go with the clusters that are on my sketch. So, um, but that's a later decision. <laughs> right now I'm just trying to make the strips for this layout and try to decide how this is gonna go. Um, while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna edge distress all of my strips and then I laid them all out um, because it looks like there is possibly a four by six panel going all the way across um, the back of the layout and then it's got two strips at the top and the bottom a little square over on the upper right hand corner, um, another little rectangle in the bottom left hand corner. I, I really, I really can't envision what I'm supposed to do here uh, with my strips, right? Uh, I've cut them all apart. And now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, I tried to maybe put the gray ones at the top and then I can make a panel of them, uh, of the other pieces going up and down. I didn't like that either, uh, plus it's a lot of work. So I'm gonna stick with my original thought. I knew I wanted this film strip down at the bottom as that piece, that strip that goes down at the bottom. And I thought, okay, well maybe I can flank it with these paper strips um, on both sides. I really liked the gray on both sides, but then I thought, oh, I need to add some pink. So I went ahead and I added some pink. It's more of a peachy, but it's pink. Um, and then, okay, well, what if I do the same thing at the top and use three more? Well, now I've got this big band in the middle that I feel like is missing something. Uh, trying to figure it out, trying to understand. I still haven't brought that blue in yet, but that's okay. I, ha I brought in a little bit of it uh, from that one really distressed uh, piece, so it's okay. Well, now I'm going to flip the paper over. <laughs> Why? I don't know. My first thought was I'm going to flip it over and then what I'm going to do is cut out the center of it and flip that over so I have my splash in the center, have my two flowers at either end, and then work with it there. So I'm going to put my border, my bottom border, which I really like, back the way it was supposed to go because this is the part that I really like. And look at that. I love how this looks. I love the pink in the background or the flowers in the background. I love all of that. Well, then I thought I really want these to go up and down and, and make more like an L shape going on. Maybe I can get that to work. Um, so I'm, I'm putting my same three strips going at an L shape. Then I'm going to put my border back for the third time. <laughs> and now I'm going to place my photos down to see how I like them. Um, because I really like them overlapping and then they, they really look like you read them in a series. So I'm bringing in my borders 
I'm bringing in my photos and I really like how this looks. It doesn't look like the sketch at all. It started out innocent enough. It started out as a sketch and I, and I definitely was inspired by the bottom stripe, but I ended up doing my other stripe at the top going down instead uh, because I really liked how that just created a nice little L for a pocket for my three photos. So in all honesty, I'm adapting and improvising. I really wanted to use the backside of this layout, but everything on top of it just looked wrong. Everything on top of it just did not look like it belonged. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do, you know, this L shape, right? I'm taking basically the top of the sketch and flipping it on its side, but leaving the bottom of the sketch the way it's supposed to look like. I know you guys, when, when in doubt, it has to work for you, right? It really does. And I feel like this is perfect. Now, when I first put my um, my panels down or my, my wood pieces um, on the, is that vertical? Yes. Um, you really couldn't see the last strip. So this time I moved my photos, my upper photos over just a little bit so you could still see that strip. Well, now I am outlining all of my pieces because I still think I can add that blue splash in somewhere. I think I can get it to work. Uh, I'm not really sure. I glued one piece down already so that way I had a reference point of where to start um, cutting and everything and have enough um, to remember to actually cut inside my, <laughs> my lines rather than on my lines. Um, I learned my lesson, I promise. Uh, so here I have to cut it in far enough to where it's not going to, um, all my photos are going, cause they're all staggered. So I needed to cut in far enough to where my photos were going to, um, all be covered up rather than have a gap somewhere. And there is my panel piece. Now, <laughs> now I'm really super excited and I just can't wait to get this done because it looks like there is that panel piece behind all of these photos. Now, she does use a, an overly large uh, photo mat for her two photos, and it looks like they're matted uh, together. Maybe they're not. I'm not sure, you guys. It did look like they were matted together, but now I'm looking at it closer and they're not. It looks like there's a gap um, between the two photos. Um, I chose to individually map my photos instead of have one large one. And then, um, like I said, I was going to put this panel because that's what it looks like. It looks like there's a panel in the back um, behind the bottom strip and the upper strip. And so I thought, oh, I could do that with this uh, wave paper. But as you can see, I'm gluing. I got so excited. I'm just gluing all of the things down. Like I'm, I'm so excited where this is going now because I, I really like it and I really like the colors and I just love how the photos pop off the page and oh, I'm getting there, right? It's going to be great. <laughs> And then I remember my panel piece and I thought, oh no, well, I want to edge distress it so that way it doesn't look stark on the paper. And, and when I edge distress, it makes me feel like it blends better. Well, I've, I've got all those strips already glued down. So is it going to look good if I put them on top of the strips? Well, kind of, but it doesn't go all the way over on the top. See how it stops and I have that little gap? Um, so here I'm deciding over or under, um, I've got a gap, push it in. Well, now I've covered up almost the whole paper. Uh, can you really see it? I really like it all the way out here. Um, I'm still covering it up. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> it's just not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and just omit it completely and use some washi tape to fill in my holes. Um, you guys, this is seriously the only reason why I use washi tape. Uh, it makes for so nice and simple um, coverings of at borders and all that. Look at that. I just used a whole roll. Yay. I'm so excited. Um, I just used my uh, fingernail to really rough, you know, really rub down that um, the edge of the of the washi tape. So that way it does not come up um, or, or start to curl up. And I've never had a problem with my washi tape, you guys. But I also put my layouts away as soon as I'm done, because um, I, I've already got my my albums organized with photos that haven't been scrapped yet. Um, and so once I'm done scrapping and I take a photo and, I, and I'm done, I put my photos in their albums or their layout, the layouts in the albums. So I've, I've never noticed if the 
washi tape start to curl back up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start embellishing. Now I am going to take into consideration there is a nice little cluster uh, down in the bottom left hand corner and then there is a small little cluster or a or semi-large cluster, uh, medium sized, uh, in the upper left hand corner but I felt like it needed something over on the right as well. So I'm going to put a small little cluster over there, seeing how I'm not doing a second layout, which is where the other cluster was on the second layout or the second sketch um, or the other side of the sketch, <laughs> the other page to the sketch, however you want to say it. Um, so I felt like it was okay if I brought that element over. Um, and also it looks like there is that, that, vertical elements over on that other side right like I, I almost smushed the two sides together um, is is now that I'm looking at it and seeing it that's how I feel like it happened <laughs> I know I'm trying to make up excuses as to why it ended up the way that it did but in the end I really do love it now I forgot to record the fact that I put the word dolphin above the word journey um, just so that way I had it and then like I said that whole chipboard uh, panel of stickers I totally spaced um, did not uh, even think about using them I apologize um, but in the end I really am happy with the way that this layout turned out I love all the soft colors and how vibrant my photos are because it makes my photos pop off the page but yet I still have this this wonderful design all the way around it all right you guys again thank you so much for hanging out with me today I really truly appreciate it don't forget to check out all the links that I have down below I've got three links for Christie's beautiful life a Facebook link and then of course if you're already part of the Facebook um, I have the album link so if you want to go and check out the album and uh, where all the sketches are held is in that album and then if you click on the comments of each sketch that's where you see everybody's awesome creations for all the sketches and then of course color craze don't forget to check out Janet Fritz's channel she is my partner in crime when it comes to color craze um, and see how she used this color palette in her layout for today all right again thank you so much and I'll check you later bye Oh, 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 oh,